And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. So have you guys ever thought about keeping big snakes? I'm talking about the giant snakes like reticulated pythons or Burmese pythons. Today I'm shooting a snake bites episode specifically on that. As a matter of fact, it's gonna come out. I'm gonna put the link right down here or annotate there, 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 wherever it is, wherever it is. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna talk about ownership of big snakes. Listen, keeping big snakes is a lot of responsibility, and I'm an advocate for keeping big animals if you, you do it responsibly. So that's kind of what today's Snake Bites episode is all about, is how, you know, if you're deciding, hey, I've kept a ball python or something like that, but now I want to move up to the next level, what do I need to do, or should I do it? So I'm going to try to cover as much of that as I can, and part of this vlog is going to be kind of how we're gonna go about that, uh, behind the scenes of it, uh, amongst other things, because I've got other work too. But uh, anyways, that is the topic of the day, large snakes, and are you ready to keep a large snake? All right, so the first shot we set up is really basically what we call an intro, which is basically just kinda, you know, that's the teaser to try to get people to wanna actually see the show. And of course, I use Daisy here, my fast-growing favorite python that I seem to be uh, pulling out constantly, and I used her as kind of the intro to the giant python thing, so. So, um, so that's shot number one, down. The guys we're about to pull out Lucy, who is by far the hardest snake that I work with as far as uh, trying to just keep her under control and wrangling. You just never know when she's gonna be in a bad mood, so. Hopefully it goes well. Just got done with Lucy. I'm sweating crazy. See, I don't ever sweat. She got me sweating and I'm completely winded. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break and then we're gonna get out of the stage. Uh, whatever you wanna do. So guys, uh, you had just an interesting experience with Satan. Uh, she actually act ended up really acting well, to be honest with you. As a matter of fact, I can go show you where she's at right now. She's uh, she's right here, just chilling out in the box as Trevor is cleaning her cage right now and getting a little bit of filming done. But uh, Satan is just awesome. She's great. She's fun to hang out with. And uh, oh, and RJ's pond's getting cleaned out too. Hey, RJ. It's a tiring snake bites episode. I gotta be honest with you. I'm more out dealing with these things. Just wrapped up the snake bites episode. Definitely a tiring one, but I think you guys are going to like it. So make sure to check out snake bites today. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. Um, I love working with the big snakes. It's absolutely awesome, and I hope you guys will enjoy it too. So uh, on to the next thing of the day. I have a feeling it's not going to be handling big snakes. <laughs> 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 Oh no, it, no, it Oh man, I tell you what, that was absolutely exhausting. I say it all the time, like uh, the, the most exhausting thing I do is mess with big snakes. You know, I mean, I can run you know a half hour on a treadmill and no problem, but five minutes with Lucy running it through her. She just wears me out, so I'm absolutely tired. But the whole idea of the Snake Bites episode, if you guys are gonna check it out, is basically responsible ownership of big pythons and what it means, and, and to me that's really, really important. If you guys are gonna own anything, whether it's a pit bull or a, a, a big python or an alligator or whatever it is, I'm not against it at all, you know? What I'm against is people owning them that aren't responsible enough to own them because, like I said in the Snake Bites episode, it only takes one idiot to ruin it for everybody you know what I mean so you know again when you have a chihuahua and it attacks someone you're probably not going to pass legislation in your neighborhood but if you have a pit bull it could so that means you have to have a lot of responsibility the same goes when it comes to snakes a ball python or a corn snake 
probably not going to get anyone in trouble, but when you have an 18 foot python that gets loose or hurts somebody, now you've ruined it for everybody. So really keep that in mind. That's something I'm really passionate about, guys. This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. Maybe in our world here, to live a happy little mountain. So guys, I wanted to give you a quick kind of overview of the shop, get you feeling like you're actually here with me. But today, I'm actually not gonna be doing a tremendous amount of work here at the shop because it's a special day for me. It's my son's 17th birthday. And so, you know what? I've learned so much recently how important family is. And so today, I'm gonna get my work done as quick as I can, run through my animals, make sure everything's set, everything's in good shape, and I'm gonna hit the road, get home, and spend some time with my family and celebrate this amazing birthday, 17 years old. As a matter of fact, Noah told me something that was really funny. He's a senior in high school and most of his friends are turning 18, but he was young when he went to school, so he's just turning 17 and he's all bummed because he's like, all my friends can now go to the bar and I can go to a rated R movie. So anyways, it's a little bittersweet for him, but 17 is still a big time. So uh, let's go ahead and get the work done here at the shop and get on the road. And maybe in our world here, so as I'm going through, uh, just kind of checking some stuff I fed and, and throwing some food in uh, to see where I'm at here. I wanted to ask you guys, you know, obviously it's uh, Noah's, you know, 17th birthday. So do you remember a birthday that was like really special to you? Um, you know, what was it? Tell me down below like what your favorite birthday was. Uh, I certainly remember my eighth birthday it was really incredible. I just remember it being an amazing family time. Uh, my 18th birthday, obviously you come an adult. It's kind of special. Of course, 21. Uh, I didn't drink when I was 21 or not, not drank much. So I didn't go out to the bar or do anything like that. So it was pretty subdued. Uh, and really, you know, I, I like every birthday, but the honesty is that the last maybe, uh, four or five, probably five or six, I've always been traveling on my birthday. So I spent the majority of those birthdays alone, which is kind of a bummer. That's why a day like today is so exciting to me to spend time with my family and just kind of, you know, it celebrate such a cool day. So tell me down below while I'm working, you know, what was your favorite birthday ever that you can remember? tell you what there's nothing I like more than just opening up these tubs and looking at the snakes there's just some amazing animals and I tell you you know that we have a lot of really cool baby ball pythons but a, a couple that I really are probably some of my favorites and again I say that all the time is take a look at this animal right here this is actually a black pastel banana and uh, this is one I'm gonna keep just because I think it's one of the prettiest ones I've ever seen I mean that thing is just so cool and then I actually produced a banana from an entry I think it's actually a pastel enchi banana i think that's what it is i'm not 100 percent sure but man just the contrast on that one is just so beautiful again i'm going to keep it and just kind of play with that project and see what's going on you know because uh, uh it just it's so cool so i just wanted to share those couple things with you so uh uh regardless uh getting through the rest of my work here um trying to work feverishly fast so that i can get the heck out of here uh and go enjoy the day by the way it's a beautiful day outside too so hopefully we could be outside a little bit too but uh anyways back to work Anyways, I am out of here, guys. Uh, uh, did a quick work today, like a half a day, which is unusual for me. I'll probably do some internet stuff later, so it's not like my day is over. But today, I want to head out, enjoy this beautiful day, and spend some family time. So, I'm out of here, guys.
You know, the one thing that's kind of funny that you guys may not know about me is the fact that, uh, you know, here I have taken kind of a half day, you know, gonna enjoy the rest of the day, but that's what brings me, like, the most anxiety, to be honest with you. It's like, I can, you know, handle really busy, hectic schedules, but when you get into, like, slow down, try to relax, that's when I start to get, like, kind of amped up and stressed out. So, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys have the same issue, but uh, I just can't slow it down. You know, my brain is just always on the go. So, um, I'm going to do my best because it's for my son, and, and he means so much to me. So, uh, I'm going to do my best to kind of chill out today. But, man, take a look at how beautiful it is out here today. Oh, my gosh. normal spot he's got the call of duty going <laughs> guys I swear I I have never even tried to play these games because uh, I have such an addictive personality if I started I probably never stop and I'd be screwed I'd be playing games all day so just like this guy here all he does is play games all day is that part of your diet <laughs> Is that it's a whole your... large pizza. You ate part of your diet? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Wait, turn it back on here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. And that cake is conveniently close to you. <laughs> First of all, you can find her. Right there. There you go. 